Hello students. In my first video, I will be studying the first chapter that is retirement of a partner. As we have studied earlier the admission of a partner, now it is retirement of a partner. Admission of a partner is what if a partner comes in a business, then that partner is admitted in a new business. That is called the admission of a partner. Now the retirement means what? If a partner retired from his firm or from any business, then that partner will be, will be retiring from the particular business or from a particular firm. That person is known as retiring partner. Okay. Now in this chapter, what are the things we need to open? What are the accounts we need to open? We will be discussing in this chapter. The first thing. The first account we need to open is a revolution account. Revolution account. Now what is with revolution account? We have studied in the admission of a partner also. Revolution account means what? The change of assets and liabilities. The change of assets and liabilities after retiring the partner is called revolution account of a retirement of a partner. Any, any assets or any liabilities is changed. That change amount will be recorded in this revolution account. That is called a revolution account. The second account we need to open is what? Partners capital account. Partners same like the admission of a partner. In a partner's capital account, here all the partner's income, partner's profit and partner's losses will be recorded in the partner's capital account. Okay? I'll be telling you the rules. I'll be discussing about the rules. In debit side, what to record. In credit side, which are the items it will record. Everything I'll be discussing. The third thing, the third account we need to open is balance sheet. Balance sheet of a new firm. Balance sheet of a new firm means after retiring the partner, the partner who will retire from the business, after retiring that partner, the, the new balance sheet we, we have to prepare. That is known as that balance sheet will be recorded as a new balance sheet in the retiring of a partner. So in this retirement of a partner, retirement of a partner chapter, we need to mainly we need to open three accounts. One is revolution account, one is partner's capital account, and one is balance sheet. Okay. Now in the admission of a partner, the most important was sacrificing ratio. The formula, as we know, the formula of sacrificing ratio was what? Old share minus new share. Isn't it? Now, in this retirement of a partner, we will follow the gaining ratio. We have to calculate the gaining ratio. Gaining ratio. The formula of gaining ratio is new ratio minus this is the formula of the gaining ratio. Gaining ratio is equal to new ratio minus old ratio. So this is the most important calculation that we need to find out in the retirement of a partner. Because in, with this gaining ratio, the partner who will be retiring from the business, we have to pay the goodwill amount. Without this gaining ratio, we cannot we cannot distribute the Google amount to the retiring partner. So this gaining ratio is very much important in this chapter. In the admission of a partner, the sacrificing ratio was important. So with the sacrificing ratio, the amount which the new partner bought, that amount we distributed among the old partners, isn't it? Now in the gaining in this retirement of a partner. Gaining ratio, we have to calculate to pay the amount to the retiring partner, which 
system of the globular hump. That, that part I'll be coming to you later. Now, the gaining ratio part. Gaining ratio is equal to new ratio minus old ratio. Now, for example, for example, say suppose A, B, and C are the partners. Okay. Their ratio say 3 is 2, 2 is 2, 1. There are three partners in a business, their ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1. Very simple. Now, here they told, in the question they told, C retires. Who retires? C retires. Now, calculate gaining ratio and new ratio. This is the information given in the question. Suppose, suppose this is the information given in the question. A, B, and C are the three partners. The ratio is three to two to one. Now in this question, who retires? C retires. The partner C, C retires. Now they are told to find out the gaining ratio and the new ratio. How do you find it? Say, what are the information is given? A, B, and C, 3 to 2 is 1. This is the information which is given in the portion. This is the old ratio. Isn't it? Old ratio of all the partners. Now, from this, C retires. Who retires? C retires. So, C retires. This share also retires. If C go out of the business, then C share also will be omitted. Isn't it? So, who is remaining in this business? A and B. A and B. Tell me, in this question, did they give any new ratio? Any gaining ratio? No, no. So, if they don't give the new ratio and the gaining ratio, only the old ratio they give, then we will find out the new ratio and the gaining ratio. How? C is the retaining partner. So, she's C's share is omitted. Now, who is remaining? A and B. Their share is 3 is to 2. 3 is to 2. So, this is the new ratio and gaining ratio. And gaining ratio. It means what? If the quotient remains silent, if the quotient remains silent, or if no other information is given, then the old ratio will be their new ratio and the gaining ratio, excluding the partner who is retiring. Excluding the partner who is retiring, the left of partners, that is A and B, their ratio will be the same ratio will be the gaining ratio and the new ratio. If no other information is given, is it clear to all? Since this is my first video, let me stop here for today. In my next video, I will be explaining you the revolution account, the partners' cable account and the balance sheet.